It's a day like any other. You wake up, eat breakfast, and head out the door. Suddenly, you're plunged into darkness. The sun has disappeared, and you have no idea whether it's ever going to come back. For many early civilizations, a solar eclipse was an unexplained phenomenon, something that portended doom. Notably, the word eclipse comes from the ancient Greek eclipsis, which means abandonment or disappearance. To the Greeks, the sun's vanishing meant catastrophe, an iron fist of punishment from the gods. Nowadays, we know when these events will occur, even centuries from now. But like the Greeks, it's easy to wonder, what exactly is a solar eclipse? Let's talk about syzygy. This is when three celestial bodies line up perfectly in a straight line. A solar eclipse is a syzygy of the sun, moon, and earth. It occurs when the moon passes between the earth and the sun, blocking all or part of the sun's light from reaching the earth. This happens only during a new moon, when all three are aligned and in the same path. At least two solar eclipses are visible from Earth every year, but not all of them are total eclipses. Here are the four types you might encounter. The first, a total solar eclipse. This happens when the moon completely covers the sun, casting a shadow on Earth. During a total solar eclipse, the sky darkens dramatically. The sun's corona, or the outermost part of the sun's atmosphere, becomes visible. The second is referred to as a partial solar eclipse. In a partial solar eclipse, the moon partially covers the sun, leaving a crescent shape of the sun visible from Earth. Third is the annular solar eclipse. An annular solar eclipse occurs when the moon is too far away from the Earth to completely cover the sun. This results in a ring of sunlight surrounding the moon. And the fourth is a hybrid solar eclipse. A hybrid solar eclipse is an eclipse that switches between total and annular phases as the moon's shadow moves along its path. Depending on location, observers may witness either totality or a ring of sunlight around the moon. What's even more remarkable is that when it comes to our solar system, no other rocky planet can have a total solar eclipse the way Earth does, all because of a cosmic coincidence. While the sun is 400 times bigger than the diameter of Earth's moon, it's also 400 times farther from the Earth than the moon. This means that both the sun and the moon appear to be the same size, allowing for the moon to completely cover the sun during an eclipse. Whether a sign from the Greek gods or a cosmic quirk, that's pretty magical. 